Shiksha focused to get you more details of the other story that we've been closely tracking. The historian Ramchandra Guha, remember, has put out a scathing letter. He's hitting out at a lot of stalwarts when it comes to the cricketing world. And remember, he's been already appointed there by the Supreme Court appointed committee. But as I said, it's just a day after he resigned from this entire committee that he's put out that scathing letter. And uh, he writes this letter to Vinod Rai and he hits out against the BCCI and several superstars in the Indian cricketing world. My colleague Shuman should just join us in a bit to get us more details of that. But yes, what we know is that this is a letter that has gone out now in the public domain. And uh, he says that these are personal reasons why he's quit. But yes, perhaps there are more layers to that story. And that's the reason why we connect also with Shuman. Now, Shuman, what's really been happening? Because, you know, he's accusing the committee of administrators here for being a mute spectator to issues like conflict of interest. And in the ongoing reports of many uh, saying a rift between Anil Kumble and Virat Kohli, Shuman. Well, uh, there are uh, five uh, major points that he has highlighted in this letter. First, uh, firstly, this letter, after citing personal reason uh, to, to the Supreme Court, he has get, gone on uh, to give this letter to uh, to the, the COA uh, chief, uh, Vinod Rai. In this letter, what he mentions is there is ambiguity uh, with regard to the functioning of the of most of the members, and he is being sidelined. His, uh, his questions uh, uh, earlier is not addressed to, and what are these questions? He raises, number one, that there is uh, no serious attempt by any of the BCCI members to implement the Lodha Commission recommendations, which include, most importantly, the conflict of interest issue. And that conflict of interest issue involves uh, major players, uh, coaches, and also former players now become TV commentators. He has taken a few names as well. And uh, those names are very, very big names. Now, uh, now, the point he wanted to mention is, without going, not into the merits or demerits of what he is saying, is that uh, there are supposedly BCCI biased and favoritism towards certain group of people. And that say, same thing doesn't apply when it comes to other set of people. So this is what he is saying is favoritism, uh, bias, affair, and a lot of conflict of interest involving a lot of BCCI uh, officials, uh, for former coaches coaches um, and players and, and uh, these are very very serious allegations now he is high, he's not uh, uh, now no, the, the point is that he has chosen to uh, resign at a time when uh, India is playing champions trophy and uh, the timing of it, it looks very um, I, I would say something of, of what um, is more than what meets the eye because India is going to play Pakistan they are tomorrow there is a champions trophy ha happening uh, why is BCCI also so keen to have a coach now selected just when there is a champions trophy happening why unsettling the Indian team like this why are uh, psychologically making the Indian team weak uh, who is doing it? It's very difficult to understand a step uh, from some someone like Ramchandra Goa at this time. He could have done it Shuman, after India Shuman, had returned have from... have we picked yeah. up any responses? Shuman, have we picked up any responses to that letter? Because, you know, significantly it's raising a lot of questions. But what have been the reactions we've heard so far? Well, the BCCI officials, uh, those who are officials, they are not reacting to it at all because they are saying this, the, the first letter, the resignation had gone to the Supreme Court, so it is for the court to decide. Now, about this one, this letter is for the, uh, the, 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 the COA chief, Vinod Rai. So they are saying that uh, the, the committee of administrators, since this letter has gone to them, uh, the Vinod Rai is the best person who should answer this. But the general mood in the BCCI is, uh, that such things uh, shouldn't have happened but many in the BCCI themselves are, are doing a lot of things which uh, are probably not very good for Indian cricket because at a time when uh, so much of ambiguity mm -hmm. about who will be the next coach will Anil Kumble stay or not will he be give, given a or not there are five other candidates also Virinda Seva uh, name is floating as one of the prime uh, candidate for the coach post now these are uh -huh. certain things which is going to uh, unsettle the Indian team they, they're, it's not it's not going to do any good for Indian team, which is participating in the, in the second most coveted tournament in, 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 in cricket, that is after World Cup Champions Trophy comes mm -hmm. here. Uh, all these things could have happened later on. Why happening at a time when the team is playing major things? That's the biggest question. 
why the committee mm. of administrators could not hold why the bcci is so keen to point uh, coaches at other things happening at this particular time uh, it, it it seems that there is something which is not uh, going right with either the coa the bcci officials and uh, it has to be settled very soon otherwise it's it's uh, it, the things will might go out of control mm. because now that at is the point time when, Shuman, that all yeah. is not well when it comes to the cricketing body and its daily affairs for the moment thank you for helping us understand that big story